Hey everyone, my name is Cordell, aka Hot Coco, and today I'm going to talk to you about some useful devices from AbletonDrummer.com that will help you in a live setting performance. Let's get into it. So I actually use Ableton to DJ live as well as do live drumming. And as you can see here, I've got four tracks laid out, track A1, A2, B1, and B2. And I like to organize all of my clips in here. These are full tracks that I've produced. I like to organize them by color and the colors correspond to the energy levels of the track. What I really like to do is just kind of move around them um, improvisationally, which means I don't have a clear cut organization to exactly which song is played when. And so what I was doing in the past is every time I would play a track and I would finish it, I would have to remember to go back to the track and press zero, uh, which will mute it. Or I would have to go in and change the color to something like gray to let me know that I've played it. Because <laughs> in the heat of the moment in a show and a performance, it's hard to remember what I've already played and I don't want to do any repeats. But what AbletonDrummer.com has that's super helpful for me is uh, deactivate played clips down here and it'll just automatically deactivate any clip that's already been played so you can see if i start playing this one whenever i'm ready to transition into the next one using my mad dj skills um, i go over here now we're playing this track i'll usually stop this one whatever and now when i'm ready to play the next track I'll play this one, and you can see that first track I've already played is automatically deactivated. I don't even have to think about it. And then I can just transition back to back. And uh, it deactivates it when the next track or the next clip on that track is played. Super, super helpful. But as you can see, I really like color schemes. So another option that Ableton Drummer has is recolor played clips on this track which is really cool. It'll let you choose the color that it'll automatically change to. You just click this color button and we've got a bunch of options. You can choose from amongst all of the colors here. You can do a different sliding scales. You can just pick uh, organic colors here from different developers. You can use a whole spectrum or my absolute favorite and just pick a colored pencil, but whatever works for you. And then once you've set your color, just hit refresh right there. And now when I play this song, it'll play as normal. If I transition into deck B2, for example, bring this guy out. Now deck B2 is playing. And when I go back to deck B1 to play another song, it'll automatically recolor the one I've already played. So you can see now it's bright yellow, letting me know don't play this one again because I've already played it. And if deactivation and changing the color still isn't your thing, you want to clean up your project, Finally Able to Drummer also has a delete played clips on this track right here. This one is just like the others, except it'll just completely delete it. So you can see this track is playing right now. If I transition into this other song over here, leave that one be. Stop it and then start another song on that same track, deck B2. Everywhere. You can see the one that was originally there, it's just gone now. It's been automatically deleted. So all video, three of these are really video, helpful if you're actually video, trying to DJ at Ableton Live or if you're just trying to keep yourself organized in a live setting, making sure that you know what's already been played is crucial. So if you like that, go ahead and give them a download.